Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name's May, and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So thanks for joining. So today I want us to talk about Cardi B. What is going on with Cardi B? So the latest news with Cardi B is that she went on a rant, another tangent. That's not new for us as far as Cardi B is concerned, but she really did something super duper unexpected this time. And if you haven't heard about this, if you wanna know what I'm talking about, make sure to stick around for the rest of this video because it is crazy and it gets even crazier. This just came out, it just happened. So a lot of you might've not even had a chance to hear about this yet. Cardi B recently um, was on a song with Normani. Now this is originally Normani's song featuring Cardi B. And actually I watched the music video, heard the song, it's pretty good. Since Normani released the single featuring Cardi B, a lot of Normani fans feel like Normani should have released this single on her own. A lot of Normani fans have been giving Cardi B a very hard time for having uh, taking or stolen some of the spotlight off of Normani because they feel like Normani should have really released that song on her own as, as a single. And so that has really been creating a lot of tension in the background as far as this new song goes. And Cardi B has really been taking the heat for that. I'm not sure why, because Normani was ultimately involved with Cardi B being featured on the song. And I'm assuming that the reason they featured Cardi B on the song is because they wanted to make a huge splash. So for those of you that don't know, Normani has not been around for a couple of years. She took about a two year break, if not a little bit over two years. So she hasn't put out anything in that time span. So it's very difficult to come back and make a splash in the in the industry when you've been gone for so long. So from where I'm sitting, it looks like, hence that's where Cardi B comes in and having Cardi B featured in the single. Even before putting the song out, they felt like Normani should should have gone into it by by herself. And I don't know that they necessarily knew that Cardi B would be featured in Normani's song, but once the song came out and they saw that Cardi B was featured in Normani's song, that was a huge problem for them, apparently. <laughs> and a lot of people took to Instagram and Twitter to comment at Cardi B about their dissatisfaction in the fact that she is actually in this, in this song and a part of this music video. Another thing that happened more recently is that Normani then takes on to Twitter to say, she asked her fans, well, who do you wanna see featured next on this song? That also seemed to create a little bit of tension between her and Cardi B because Cardi B is obviously currently featured on the song. And so why is she asking her fans who they wanna see featured on the song instead? It's all very weird. And so I, I think that might have left a little bit of a, a bad taste, that left a little bit of a bad taste in Cardi B's mouth as well. And that recently happened not too long ago. So one of the comments that Cardi B received from Twitter was this comment right here. And it says, this might be a hot take, but honestly, Cardi should have been the remix. I don't know why y'all didn't release this song as your solo single. I get why she's on it, Cardi B went on to clap back at this very message. And this is what Cardi B had to say. Same people that says this ish is the same people that didn't buy ish, don't request on radio, not streaming, not adding no value or numbers to the song, but opinions on Twitter for a hit tweet cause hating but keeping up with Cardi is what's in. Woo! Wow, okay, so. So, you know, Cardi B decided to start clapping back. She kind of, she, lo she lost her temper there. And she decided to just start responding and start clapping back at these individuals. She didn't stop there. That wasn't the end of it. Cardi B then goes on to say more and to continue to post on social media. 
So one of the things that she also said was, well, from this day forward, I won't promote or talk about the song and tell Normani team to release a version without my vocal. Yay, you wish and desires came true. Make sure you stream it though. Don't have me making calls for no reason. So this was another response by Cardi B to all the fans that have been telling her that she shouldn't have been a part of the main song. She should have in fact been the remix to the song. Cardi B quit y'all. This girl has quit, she's left the building, she quit her job, she's deuced out, she's done. So she doesn't wanna do it anymore. She's she says that she's not gonna promote the song anymore and she's out, you know? And I don't think that she can do that though. She can't quit. I, you know, here's the thing that we need to remember. When artists collaborate with other artists and they get featured on songs or other artists feature other artists on songs, they do that for a reason. So. There's a reason why artists collaborate with other artists, and that's because the other artists that they collaborate with can bring more visibility to the song. And when artists collaborate with other artists, they typically sign a very airtight contract. So that makes me think that maybe Cardi B and Normani planned this and are just doing it for the publicity to kind of hype up the song and keep the song relevant because they know that human behavior dictates that people have a tendency of looking for where the hottest story is or the hot drama is because it keeps us entertained. So that makes me think that that's what they're doing here potentially because when artists feature other artists in songs, they can't just quit they can't goose out and be like oh i'm not doing this anymore because all of that is not just oh let's let's not lip service it's all in a very airtight contract and i would be hard pressed to not think that one of the things written in that contract in bold letters is that party b has to market the song. That's the point of having her on the song is that Cardi B should be able to market that song because Normani has been gone for a very long time. She's been gone for over two years. So it's hard to make a splashback when you're gone that long. So that tells me that that's what they were worried about. And that's why they put Cardi B on the song featuring on her on the song because she can bring a very large visibility to the song itself. And because she signed that contract, clearly she signed the contract because she's featured on the song, there's no way she can just dip out and quit just because she feels like it. It doesn't work that way, Cardi B. So what are you guys not telling us? What are y'all not telling us? Or are you just creating drama for this music video? She did not stop there, y'all. She did not stop there. Well, this comment said, y'all know that she's trolling, right? She said, I'm not trolling. I've been getting disrespected up and down and ignoring cause I love the song and the person, but me or my fans not finna be getting disrespected. No more, okay? So she's heated at this point. At least that's what it seems like. And she is basically clapping back at these comments. I'm not sure why Cardi B keeps taking time to actually respond to these comments because people will always say what they want to say. There's no stopping people from making comments, whatever comments that they want to make. So from a therapeutic standpoint, one of my biggest concerns is that this is very stressful for someone who is pregnant. This is very stressful to be dealing with, to be talking about, to feel like you have to clap back to. It's too much stress. Cardi B is currently very hormonal because she's due at any minute, right? She's very, very pregnant. She's probably very, very hormonal. And she's finding it very hard to kind of keep her emotions in check right now. But for a long time, Cardi B has been quiet on social media for quite a few months. I mean, you didn't really see a lot of her posting on Instagram or anywhere else. 
she would post every now and then, but that was about it. Well, now that she's out and everyone now knows that she's pregnant because she's told everyone, it looks like maybe there's not as much incentive for her to not clap back at individuals that are making her mad or upsetting her. That tells me that whenever she was being quiet during those few months, because I honestly, I thought she was making a turn for the better as far as not feeling like she has to clap back at everyone that talks to her or says something she doesn't like, but that wasn't the case. What that tells me, the fact that she's not clapping back now that everything is out in the open as far as her pregnancy, is that she was only doing that because she wanted to make sure that no one would find out about the pregnancy. So she was trying to stay away and not do the most. But I think this is just too much stress for her to be dealing with right now. So Cardi B is responding to a, a comment left by Rolling Stone that said, Nick Jonas, Ariana Grande, Madonna, and others have long been accused of manipulating labels to their advantage. But what does queer baiting actually mean? Cardi B went on to say, um, at Rolling Stone, queer baiting? You do know we was trying to hide a whole baby bump, right? Also, I'm married to a me, but I have expressed so much about my bisexuality and my experiences with girls. All of a sudden, queer baiting is the new word and people use it to the ground. So she's been busy, y'all, and she's been keeping me busy, okay? So I've been having to find extra time to make these videos for y'all because she's been very busy on social media. She goes on to say, I don't like this new queer baiting word. I feel like it pressure artists to talk about their sexuality or their experiences that they don't feel comfortable speaking about. If an artist kiss a girl on the video, does that mean she got to show videos and text with, with other women. So this is another post by Cardi B clapping back or continuing to clap back at the queer baiting comment or word. I personally had not heard about that word until now, until basically when Cardi B addressed it in her clap back. So from a therapeutic and mental health perspective, I'm truly concerned that Cardi B is really putting herself under a lot of stress because she is currently pregnant. However, from a human behavioral perspective, this is Cardi B's MO, right? So this is very consistent with her past behaviors. So basically, I'm not shocked, I'm not surprised to see that she's now clapping back now that the whole baby story is out in the open and everyone knows that she's pregnant. So this is not anything different for, for Cardi B. That's what most of her, her fans like her for is because she is entertaining and she stays clapping back at things on social media, which keeps us entertained. From a human behavior perspective, it's pretty consistent with what she's always done. The inconsistency was when she slowed down on the social media. So I thought she had taken a turn, but that was obviously not the case. So with that being said, hopefully she slows down. Hopefully she starts doing some maybe anxiety calming exercises. I think those would really help because people are always gonna talk and they're always gonna have something to say. It's not realistic for someone that has millions and millions and millions of followers to try to clap back at everyone. She, she quit, she chunked up the deuces. She said, I'm out of here. <laughs> and she, she, she said, you know, tell Normani to do it on her own. But honestly, it's not possible for her to quit because she's on contract. So I don't even know why she bothered tweeting that or putting that on social media. You know, it just makes me think that you and Normani get together and talk about this and decide to go this route in order to continue to create hype for the song and for the music video. Tell me what you guys think. Leave the comment below. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. And of course, subscribe for more videos such as this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.